What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Hancho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright man, let's get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. I'm always on. We are six days away from the Raiders opening the season against the Baltimore Ravens. I couldn't be more excited, man. It's going to be my first season as a content creator, my first season on YouTube, and like my 35th season as a Raiders fan. So you do the math. You already know what time it is, okay? But... After yesterday's events, man, I gotta say, man, I woke up today a little perplexed, okay? Now, we all know that we let go of Tanner Muse yesterday. We all know that we let go of Tanner Muse on his damn birthday after wishing him a happy birthday and then later on deleting and removing the tweet, Well, which is in perfect Raiders fashion. I mean, remember when we signed Gus Bradley, we had a picture of freaking Wizard Hunt on the damn Welcome to, to Las Vegas uh, post. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about our linebacker core right now. And I guess our linebacker core would be K.J. Wright, Littleton, Kukowski, Perriman, and Diablo. And I got to ask, the first question I got to ask is, is Diablo better than Tanner Muse? I mean, obviously we got rid of Muse, we kept Diablo, but we saw Diablo against the 49ers look completely lost in the sauce. Looked like he didn't know what the hell was going on. Looked like he'd never been on the damn field before, honestly. And it's the guy that we are moving, removing from safety and making him a linebacker, much like Tanner Muse, much like... Uh, Morrow, much like uh, Javin White, which I don't understand because I keep saying over and over, if you want a linebacker, just go draft the goddamn linebacker. I don't care if you want him to cover. There's plenty of good coverage linebackers in college football. Find a linebacker that can cover him, put him in the damn system. But I digress. This ain't about this. This ain't about that. Neither here nor there. But you have to ask yourself, is he better than... Tanner Muse, and I think it's pretty funny or ironic because I was on live the other night with my homie Graphic, and he asked me, who do I want spying? Um... Uh, Lamar Jackson, I said, well, we don't even know if that's what they're going to do. First of all, we don't know if they're going to spy him. But everybody was saying Tanner Muse, John Abrams, and the guy I said was Divine Diablo. I said, I would want Diablo to spy uh, Lamar Jackson because he's fast, he's long, he's rangy, he's, he, he knows how to move sideline to sideline. That's a guy who I think could definitely do a good job at spying uh, Lamar Jackson. Not saying he's going to do it, but I've already had my reservations about Tanner Muse, and I'm not going to sit here and be one of those guys that are mad that we cut Tanner Muse because I'm a big fan of Tanner Muse. You go do any of your research on any video videos I've ever done, I wanted to rate it to draft linebackers because I did not believe in our linebacking core. I did not believe in Nick Moore. I did not believe in Tanner Muse, who never even been on the field, right? Um, my, 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 um, my anger towards the decision to let go of Tanner Muse was more about the fact that it's another third round pick. It doesn't matter if it's Tanner Muse. Like I said, the Lynn Bowden situation is the same thing for me. Like it's it's about us not prioritizing our draft picks and, and willing to just draft people, take flyers on guys in the third round, and then easily remove them or get rid of them, or even guys in the fifth round, whatever round it is. It just seems like the Raiders do not prioritize or cherish draft picks, that they'll just use them on anybody. It's not about Tanner Muse. I'm not, I never was sitting here thinking Tanner Muse is going to be the end-all, be-all at the linebacker position, which is why I wanted us to get a uh, uh, KJ Wright, which is why I wanted us to go after um, a Perriman or a... Uh, Awesome Wild, whatever the hell his damn name is, who we just signed to the practice squad yesterday. It was because I wasn't sure what our linebacker core was really going to be. I do think Tanner Muse did some good things. I do think he had some good film out there. But Tanner Muse is Tanner Muse. You get what you see, right? It wasn't somebody who was going to be the end-all, be-all at the linebacker position. But when you talk about KJ Wright, you talk about Perryman now, you mix that with Kwiatkowski Littleton, I think our linebacker core is pretty solid. And I had, I was very nervous or had a lot of trepidation going into the season about our depth at linebacker. I'm not really still happy with the depth at linebacker, but at least I feel like we got four or five guys who I do believe in, okay? And I would like to have seven guys in there, and I think that's why a lot of people were surprised about the Tanner Muse cut. It's not because everybody thought he was going to make the team. It's, we're surprised that we're only going with five linebackers, right? Like, I thought for sure we would have kept seven. Um, but I guess if you're going to use a spot for Javin White and... Uh, you got Markel Lee also, Austin Well, I guess you can't keep everybody, right? And I would hope that the belief is that uh, Tanner Muse clears waivers and maybe he joins the practice squad. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see about that. But I am going to say that I am way more up on our linebacker court than I was just five days ago because KJ Wright does make a difference, man. There's no way to cut it, no way to shape it. Uh, he does make a difference. He's credible. He's somebody who's been in the Super Bowl, somebody who brings that um, – just that that leadership and that quality of like, yo, I know what it looks like to be on a good team, and we're building that over here. So you got to take that. You got to you got to accept that for what it is, right? And I'm really excited to see. But we're a couple days away, man, from the Ravens, man. So don't forget Monday night football. 
Join the hottest pregame show on the damn YouTube network, YouTube universe. Okay, it's going to be me and my homeboy, Ray. Uh, it's going to be Ray and Hans pregame show. Make sure y'all tune in to that, man. We're going to be live. We're going to be taking questions, making our predictions, just doing what we do, okay? Which is just giving you good quality content, all right? So, if you like this video, like this video. If you like the content on this channel, well, damn, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at Raider Hans Show. And until the next time, Raider Hans Show out.